Gibraltar. I when... do have concerns. It could be very damaging to Gibraltar because when allegations which have no basis in fact are aired, not just in Gibraltar but beyond Gibraltar, then that can be very damaging to Gibraltar because people don't stick around to, to wait to hear the finding that says that what was said was absolutely nonsense. But the McGrail inquiry is on foot. I don't want to make much comment in relation to the McGrail inquiry. There's been an issue in the McGrail inquiry which I also don't want to comment on at this moment um, and I want to ensure that that inquiry can proceed completely independently without my comment until the time comes for me to give evidence before the inquiry which I'm very much looking forward to because I look forward to the truth coming Are out you in that inquiry. Are you concerned about damage personally? At all. I am really looking forward to all of the evidence coming out. The sooner it comes out, the better, because I think that people will realise that I acted entirely properly throughout, entirely in keeping with the rules and the spirit of the rules, not just our laws, but the human rights rules that you know, are over our laws and how our laws should be enforced, etc. I think that when people look at what has happened, when they look at all of the facts that are before the inquiry and all of the competing versions that there are before the inquiry, they will realise that they are always right to trust their government and to trust the incumbent of number six common place. But let's leave it at that and let people see what comes out in the inquiry. And I, you know, I'm very much looking forward to all all of the truth coming out. As I said in Parliament, what will come out in the McGrail inquiry will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I'm sorry, can I just ask you one further question on that? I mean, it has been quite delayed and the can has been pushed well, out. Is, it, is that anything to do with treaty, the treaty negotiations? No, have you wanted no, the no. McGrail inquiry to come out after that? No, 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 no. hang on, let's be clear. Uh, let's not mix apples and pears. Okay. I, I explained why it was that we couldn't convene the McGrail inquiry earlier. We had a case in the coroner's court which involved a mar maritime accident on the east side of uh, Gibraltar. Um, that uh, people may find will be relevant to the issues that are before the McGrail inquiry, but I don't want to comment more. Um, and therefore, that is what delayed us from being able to convene the inquiry earlier. Of course, I'm busy on the treaty. Of course, I'm busy on other things. But that was the issue that, uh, that held us up from being able to convene the inquiry earlier.